Okay, y'all. If y'all saw a video clip of Mini Ripperton, that means YouTube let it go through. If not, that means I got flagged. This is the biography of Minnie Ripperton. Minnie Julia Ripperton Rudolph was born November 8th, 1947, was an American soul singer, best known for her 1975 single, Loving You, and her four octave soprano range. She is widely known for her use of the whistle register and has been referred to by the media as the queen of the whistle register. Born in 1947, Minnie grew up in Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood on the South Side. As a child, she studied music, drama, and dance at Chicago's Abraham Lincoln Center. In her teen years, she sang lead vocals for the Chicago-based girl group, The Gems. Her early affiliation with the Chicago-based Chess Records afforded her the opportunity to sing backing vocals for various established artists such as Etta James, Fontella Bass, Ramsey Lewis, Bo Disley, Chuck Berry, and Muddy Waters. While at Chess, Minnie also sang lead for the psychedelic soul group Rotary Connection from 1976 to 71. On April 5, 1975, Minnie Ripperton reached the apex of her career with her number one single, Loving You. The single was the last release from 1974 gold album titled Perfect Angel. In January 1976, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And in April, she underwent a radical nasectomy. By the time of her diagnosis, the cancer had metastasized and she was given approximately six months to live. Despite the prognosis, she continued recording and touring. Minnie was one of the first celebrities to go public with a breast cancer diagnosis, but she did not disclose that she was in a terminally ill stage. In 1990, excuse me, 1977, she became a spokesperson for the American Cancer Society. In 1978, she received the American Cancer Society's Courage Award, which was presented to her at the White House by the President Jimmy Carter. Minnie Ripperton departed from Earth on July 12, 1979 at the age of 31. She was born to Thelma Inez Matthews, who passed away in 2005, and Daniel Webster Ripperton, who passed away in 1991, who was a Pullman Porter. The youngest of eight children in a musical family, she embraced the arts and music early in life. Although she began with ballet and modern dance, her parents recognized her vocal and musical talents and encouraged her to pursue music and voice. At Chicago's Abraham Lincoln Center, she received operatic vocal training from Marion Jeffrey, also trained her to use her full range. While studying under Marion Jeffrey, she sang operetta and show tunes in preparation for a career in opera. Marion was a, so convinced of her pupils' abilities that she strongly pushed her to further study the classics at Chicago's Junior Lyric Opera. The young Minnie Ripperton was, however, becoming interested in soul, rhythm, and blues, and rock. After graduating from High Park High School, she enrolled at Luke College, now named Harold Washington College, and became a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. She dropped out of college to pursue her music career. Minnie Ripperton's first professional singing engagement was the Gems when she was 15. Maynard Minor, a blind pianist, heard her singing during her stint with Hyde Park's a cappella choir and became her musical patron. The Gems had relatively limited commercial success but proved to be a good outlet for Minnie's talent. Eventually, the group became a session group known as Studio 3, and it was during this period that they provided the backing vocals on the classic 1965 Fontella bass hit, Rescue Me. In 1964, the James released a local hit, I Can't Help Myself, and their last single, He Makes Me Feel So Good, was released in 1965. The James later released records under numerous different names, most notably 1966, Baby I Want You, by The Girls Three, and 1967's My Baby's Real by The Starlets. The latter has achieved cult status with Northern soul fans and still remains an all-time favorite. It was a Motown style song reminiscent of Tammy Terrell in 1968. Watered Down was released as a follow up. Under the name The Stylettes, it was the last release of Minnie's formal group. While a part of Studio 3, Minnie met her mentor, producer Billy Davis, who wrote her first local hit, Lonely Girl, as well as The Side, You Gave Me Soul, in honor of Billy Davis. She used the pseudonym. Andrea Davis for the release of those two singles. In 1966, some months after her Andrea Davis singles hit the radio, Minnie joined Rotary Connection, a funky rock soul creation of Marshall Chess, the son of Chess Records founder Leonard Chess. 
Rotary Connection, consisted of Minnie Ripperton, Marshall Chess, Judy Hoff, Sydney Barnes, and Charles Stepney. They released their debut album, Rodeo, Rotary Connection, in 1965, and subsequently followed five more albums. In 1968, Aladdin and Christmas album, Peace, songs in 1969, Dinner Music in 1970, and Hey Love in 1971. In 1969, Minnie Ripperton, along with Rotary Connection, played in the first Catholic rock mass at the Liturgical Mini Conference National Convention, Milwaukee Arena. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, produced by James Poliani. Minnie's debut solo album entitled Come to My Garden was produced arranged as well as orchestrated by her Rotary Connection band mate Charles Stephanie and was released in 1970 by GRT Records. Several other songs were co-written by Stephanie and Richard Rudolph, who married Ripperton in August 1970. She was presented as a solo artist by Ramsey Lewis on Saturday, December 26, 1970 at Chicago's famed London House. Many went on to perform several songs from the album while accompanied by Charles Stephanie. Although the album was not a commercial success at the time of its release, Come To My Garden is now an acclaimed music critic. In 1973, a college intern for Epic Records found Minnie in semi-retirement. She had become a homemaker and a mother of two in Gainesville, Florida. After he heard the demo tape of the song, Seeing You This Way, the rep took the tape to Don Ellis, VP of A&R for Epic. Minnie signed with Epic Records and the family relocated to Los Angeles, California. The follow-up album, Perfect Angel turned out to be one of Minnie's best-selling albums. Included were the rock soul anthem, Reasons, the second single, Take a Little Trip, written by Stevie Wonder, who also co-produced the album. Although sales of the album started slow, Epic was ready to move on to the next record, but Richard Rudolph convinced them to release another single. The fourth single, Loving You, This Is My Song. The album caught on, and in April 1975, the song went to the top of the charts in the U.S and 24 other countries. The song reached number two in the UK singles chart and number three on the US R&B charts. It sold more than one million copies and was awarded a gold disc by the RIAA in April 1975. Perfect Angel went to gold status and Minnie was finally revered as a lady with the high voice and flowers in her hair. The album also featured the song Every Time He Comes Around with Denise Williams singing the background vocals. Subsequently following the album, Perfect Angel, Minnie Ripperton and her husband, songwriter and music producer Richard Rudolph started on her third album, Adventures in Paradise in 1975. Joe Sample of the Crusaders co-wrote the title song, Adventures in Paradise, and Crusaders producer Stuart Levine co-produced the album. While shooting a promotional clip for the album, Minnie was attacked by a lion, but wasn't seriously injured. She mentioned the incident, on the Sammy Davis Jr. show. The album was a modest success, despite the hit Inside My Love, a number five US R&B hit, later covered by Trina Brozer and Shantae Moore. The album didn't match the success of Perfect Angel. Some radio stations refused to play Inside My Love due to the lyrics. In 1978, Richard Rudolph and Minnie's attorney, Mike Rosenfeld, orchestrated a move to Capitol Records for Minnie in her CBS Records catalog. In April 1979, Minnie released her fifth and final album, Minnie. Memory Lane was a hit from the album. She was married to songwriter and music producer Richard Rudolph from August 1970 until her demise in July 1979. Together, she and Richard had two children. Music engineer Mark Rudolph was born in 1968 and actress and comedian Maya Rudolph was born in 1972, a Saturday Night Live cast member from 2000 to 2007. Maya was a child when her mother's hit song, Loving You, was recorded. According to the liner noted from Minnie Ripperton's Petals compilation CD, the melody to Loving You was created as a distraction for Maya when she was a baby so that Minnie and Richard could spend time together. On August 24, 1976, Minnie revealed on The Tonight Show that she had undergone a mastectomy due to breast cancer. At the time of her diagnosis, Minnie found out her cancer had already spread to the lymphatic system and her prognosis was she was given six months to live. She continued touring in 1977 through 1978 and she became the spokeswoman for the American Cancer Society's 1979 campaign. During the recording of her final album, Minnie, her cancer progressed to the point that she was in excruciating pain, a case of extreme lymphedema 
and immobilized her right arm in early 1979 in her final appearances on TV, most notably on the Mike Douglas show. Her right arm remained in a fixed position during her performances. Near her demise in concert, she changed the end of Loving You to Maya, Maya, Maya. By mid-June, Minnie was confined to the bed. She was admitted to Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles on July 10th. On Thursday, July 12th, 1979, at 10 a.m., she passed away in the arms of her husband. That Sunday, following a funeral service attended by more than 500 mourners, Minnie was interred in the Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in L.A. Her epitaph on her headstone is the opening line of her most famous song, Loving You Is Easy Cause You're Beautiful. Stevie Wonder paid tribute to Minnie during the episode of Soul Train, which aired shortly after her demise in September 1979. On June 7, 2009, Tibby One's unsung series premiered a one-hour episode of Minnie Ripperton's career in life. It included interviews with her husband, Richard, son Mark, daughter Maya, sister Sandra, and many others who worked with her. After Minnie's death, several artists contributed vocal to tracks she recorded before she died. To help compile her husband's final tribute to his wife, Love Lives Forever, included were People Bryson, Michael Jackson, and Stevie Wonder. Her last single, Give Me Time, was released in 1980. During the 1990s, Minnie's music was sampled by rap and hip hop artists, including Tupac, Dr. Dre, A Tribe Called Quest. Rest in peace to Minnie Ripperton. Okay, y'all, that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe.